Now, joining me are Mr. John Lydon, who used to be known as Johnny Rotten, and uh, Mr. Keith Levine, and they are both associated now in something which is called Public Image Limited. limited. Is it limited or unlimited? Yeah, limited. Limited. What is that? Is it a band? Is it a public relations firm? What does it do, and what is it? We ain't no band. We're a company. Simple. Nothing to do with rock and roll. Doodah. Doodah. Yeah. Okay, it's a company, not a band. Simple. What kind of a company is it? What does it do? It's, it's just a communications a company. Huh? It's a communications company. To facilitate communications, how? Videos, movies, soundtracks for films, we hope soon. Sometimes we perform live gigs. Well, that depends on how we feel. Just about anything that's available. When you perform a live gig, do you bring musical instruments to it? Yes. So far. Well, but you said it's not a band. It's a company. Company. Would Companies you rather not? Companies can mess about with musical instruments. Okay. Okay. There's no limits. Would you rather not talk about the company? No, well, I'd like to talk about it. I beg your pardon? This is why we are here. Well, I want you to talk about it, and I've made five passes at it, and so far I'm not well, getting sure anywhere. Well, you've and I... studied your history of us. I mean, come on, prompt. Well, I... Do your business. Uh, well, uh, we're jet lagged. <laughs> Humor us. What kind of a company it is, and you said it's a company that deals in communications. Well, it's simple, right? We'll do anything that we're offered if it's worthwhile. So, like, uh, at the moment, me and Keith want to dabble with film soundtracks. Dabble with film soundtracks. What does that mean? I don't know what well, that is. Well, we started off with Public Image Limited. We didn't want to be or have anything to do with rock and roll. So, we thought being in a band and doing gigs wouldn't be the thing to do. I have a sig. But we, um... Would you like a sig? So we ended I'll up find doing a way to your American heart tour. yet, I'll tell you. Here. Excuse me, sir. We ended up doing an American tour, which, um, definitely prompted us to stop the band side of things and, com and concentrate on the company side of things. Both you and John have said that you don't want this to have anything to do with rock and roll. Why do you dislike rock and roll? So it's much. dead, it's a disease, it's a plague, it's been going on for too long, it's history, it's vile, it's not achieving anything, it's just digression. They play rock and roll at airports, that's about as like, advanced as it can possibly get. But there it's was a too limited. But there was a time when you didn't feel it that way. It is too much like a structure, a church, yeah, but there was a, a religion, a, a farce. A time when you did not feel that way. What made you no, change? No, I've always felt this way. Even when you were with the Sex Pistols? I wondered when you'd get round to that one. Yes, even then. Because the Sex Pistols was going to be the absolute end of rock and roll, which I thought it was. Unfortunately, the majority of the public, being the senile animals that they are, got that wrong. Too bad. All they want is an image, something flash. Where did the name the Sex Pistols come from? Who thought that name up? Some animal, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. It's history. Well, I think history matters a little bit. When you say some animal, was this a member of the band that history made it? History does not matter. I mean, your program's called Tomorrow. There must be a reason behind that. Well, unless we remember our yesterdays, there will be no tomorrows. Oh my Getting back to public to image. Go. Beg your pardon? Getting back to pill. Oh, to public image. Yeah, we were saying we learnt from our yesterdays and our recent American tour that it was embarrassing to go on stage and do gigs because um, it seems to be an old-fashioned format to go on stage with guitars and play loud music. I mean, I'm definitely into loud, annoying music, but um, like um, getting back to the communication side of things, the people Instead you're like communicating to... A, a, a concert these days the is people. a bunch of gits on a stage with all these idiots down in the pits, worshipping them, thinking they're heroes. There should be no difference between who's on stage and who's in the audience. And we've tried very hard to break down those barriers, but it's not working. So we have to think again. So in the meantime, we'll put our attention somewhere else.
Can I ask you what you did to try to break down the barriers between the people on stage and in the audience, some of the things? Just, we were totally honest with them. We went on stage and we were totally honest. We weren't, we weren't saying, look at me, I'm great, I'm a superstar. And we weren't saying particularly anything. We were going on there and playing our music. And anything could have happened when we went on stage. And, and lots of things frequently. did happen. But we were totally honest with that audience. And the reactions we got, which uh, we got about four years ago in England, or the Sex Pistols got in various other punk bands, that's the trouble well, with America, the we got you're in America. so digressive. <laughs> John so said something backwards. in an interview, everyone's really preoccupied with going backwards. And I think the reason it's a good idea not to be a rock and roll band and to concentrate or direct our energies as a company is because... Well, look to the it, future, it, right? It's it doesn't totally look all right. Then let's then then let's take it. Then let's the USV. then let's take it. Hi, Atullah's a pop hero nowadays. I hear. Excuse me for talking while you're interrupting. I have to do a couple <laughs> of commercials here. We'll humor me. Continue uh, not for long with this fascinating discussion right after these announcements. Isn't this fun?